wanted to accomplish? Did you have a good day in your mind? I had a great day. Uh, you know, just came out, did the best I could. Uh, tried to work on my technique, get my 40 down. I don't know the exact times yet. Um, but I did everything I wanted to, killed the drills, caught all the balls, had a great attitude, just enjoyed the whole experience. Um, well, basically, you know, just showing them I can run a little faster. Um, that was my biggest goal. Um, and just coming out and doing the same things I did at the combine as well as I did with my drills, getting out of my cuts, uh, you know, showing them I got good hip fluidity and, uh, you know, just catching everything, showing them I can catch the ball, track it down in the air. And uh, I did very well in my drills. What have you been hearing from teams? Have you been talking to people? Yeah, I've been talking to people. Uh, biggest thing with me is uh, I don't really listen to too much. No one saying uh, just wait to draft day and uh, that team that actually calls my number on draft day, then you know they're going to get a great player. Vic, uh, you said you had to you wanted to improve your, your, your 40 time. What exactly was the time that you, you, you wanted to get to that? Well, I wanted to get somewhere in the four fours. Didn't matter where it was, just just wanted to get in the four fours. I ran a four five flat at the combine and a four six, so I just know I'm a little faster. So that's what I really was aiming for, just get faster than a four five flat. Vic, was it a more relaxed atmosphere before you here at home, or was it more pressure because you were at home in front of the home folks? Well, I didn't look at the combine as pressure. I didn't look at it as being pressure out here at all. Uh, just a chance to come showcase what I'm good at. So um, I didn't look at it as pressure. Um, something I've been working for all my life. So I was ready for everything they can throw at me. Some say your strength and size are such an advantage to you that you may be going into safety. How do you feel about that? Um, it's good to see that they feel like I can play more than one position. But, you know, my mindset is a lockdown corner. So that's what I want to be. And uh, that's what I'm going to be until wide receivers in the league prove me that I can't do it. Could you uh, compare these two experiences with the pro day workout today versus the combine in Indianapolis? Uh, I would just say with the combine, uh, it was a great a great experience because I got to meet coaches and uh, actually got a chance to sit down one on one with teams, and, you know, get them a chance to really see who I am, what type of guy I am. Um, it was just a great experience being there for those four days and competing against guys all around the country. So I just say that was the biggest difference. Yeah, what was the feedback you've gotten from from them and the interview process, getting to know the GMs and the coaches and so forth? What, do, do you feel like you put on for the good impression? I think I did. Uh, I just think the biggest thing they wanted to see was me to take ownership for my mistakes. Um, they wanted to see have I learned from my mistakes, and uh, and I have. So that was the biggest message for me, just relaying to the teams and the coaches and uh, everyone with the organizations that uh, everything I've been through has prepared me for the NFL. Vic, I think Deion Sanders came out and said that he really liked you as a player, and, yeah. and he, he almost, almost uh, you know, encouraged teams to take you. What was it like for a player of that magnitude to come out and support you? It was great. Um, just been with all the things I've been through and uh, not running the fastest 40 that day for the, one of the greatest to recognize your talent is like an honor. So, you know, I had a conversation with him, and uh, he just told me, you know, keep your head up. Uh, I see a lot of potential in you, and just don't let him down. So that's one of my biggest goals now, definitely not to let Deion down. Vic, what, what kind of uh, 40 times have you been running in practice? And number two, uh, do you have any uh, private workout schedule? Um, right now, I don't have any private uh, workout scheduled at the moment. I uh, worked out for the Patriots a few weeks ago. Um, I was running high 4.4s four and 4.5s, four 4.5 four five flats and stuff around there. So that was pretty much been my consistent time, 4.48s four and 4.5s. Four so that's pretty much been my times. Yeah. What would you say is your uh, biggest accomplishment in your college career? My biggest accomplishment? Yep. Um, I would just say probably getting an Everyday Attitude Award, the two springs that I got them, uh, just for everything I've been through to get an Everyday Attitude Award. That was big for me. Uh, just shows how much I've grown since I've been a freshman at this university. You talk just a little bit about your final year here, maybe some struggles early on, but turning around and really had a great second half of the season. Um, what do you think you proved with it? I think uh, I learned a lot this year about how to be a leader, um, being a leader vocally and by example, and uh, all the time, not just sometime. Um, playing a full 60 minutes, I would say against UCF last year, we kind of let up in the fourth quarter, and they had two big plays and was right back in the game. So um, that was a big turning point for me. I put some plays on film that I never want to put on film again. So 
I just learned to play every play, you know, like it's your last. So that's probably the biggest thing I learned my season, senior, uh, senior season.